Ever wished you could design interiors like a pro without spending weeks learning complex software? Meet Nano Banana, a fresh beginner friendly tool that makes interior design fun and simple. Of course, Nano Banana can do much more than interior designs, it can do all kinds of image creation and editing, but in this tutorial, I'll focus on some use case scenarios for architects and interior designs. I'll walk you through everything you need to know from the basics to creating your first stunning layout. Whether you're a student, a freelancer, or just redesigning your own space, this guide will help you bring your ideas to life in no time. Let's get started. First of all, to use Nano Banana, you need to go to Google AI Studio. That's aistudio.google.com. And this is the page you will land on. Now you need to make sure that the model is set to Nano Banana or Gemini 2.5 Flash Image Preview. If it's set to a different model, simply click on it and choose the Nano Banana model. You can also choose it from here. And let's start with a simple project. Let's say you have a sofa and you want to try a different design or pattern on it. Simply add your images. So I'm going to upload my files and I'm going to upload the photo of my living room. Okay and I'm gonna upload the design or the pattern I want to add. And once the images are uploaded, I'll simply type in my prompt. So replace the sofa color with this floral pattern. Now, Nano Banana is smart enough to know which image is which. I'll simply click on run. It'll take a few seconds to do its magic. And boom, here it is. In a matter of seconds, it generated a professional and pretty realistic looking image, replacing the color or the pattern of your sofa with the pattern that you provided. In the past, it would have taken a long time to do such thing with applications like Photoshop. Now let's try something else. Let's say I wanna buy a piece of furniture and I want to see how it'll fit in and look like in my living room. So I'm gonna upload the same image of the living room and a table. Here is the table. And then I'll upload the image of the living room itself. Okay, here it is. Now I'm just gonna tell it to put the table in front of the sofa. Put this table on the carpet. Okay, now run. And as you can see, it did all the work. It installed the table professionally on the carpet in front of the sofa. So I can judge if I have to choose between like a few tables, I can see for myself which one fits best in my living room. Now let's try something more professional. Let's say I have an image and I want to build a design for like a train station, for example, or a hotel lobby, you name it, based on this design. I have an image of a pillar with an ancient Egyptian style. I'm gonna upload it. Here it is. And then I'm going to ask it to make a hotel lobby design with pillars based on this image. Now, of course, you can be more specific in your prompt to get more detailed results. I'm just going to stick with simple prompts here. And now I'm going to run it. And looking pretty good. Here is the image. It used the design in my photo to create the pillars for the hotel lobby. Now I can add elements if I want to in the same prompt. Let's say I want to add a fountain. So add a fountain next to the pillar. Okay, now run it. Okay, it added the fountain. Let's say I want to have a view of the whole lobby. Okay, expand the view to include the whole lobby. Okay, now run. And it did expand the view. Now you can keep editing, adding more prompts, writing more prompts, till you get the result that you are happy with. Now I'm going to go one step further and ask it to create a CAD design for this lobby in order to export it to my editing software. So create a CAD design for this lobby. Okay, now run. And here it is, the image that it generated. Pretty cool.
It would have taken hours if you wanted to do this work manually. Now, of course, as I told you, you can continue with the prompt, making all the edits that you want. Now for yet another scenario. Let's say I have a floor plan that I want to view in 3D. I'm gonna upload the image and I intentionally chose an image of a floor plan that is like drawn in like hand line. It's drawn by hand, not designed in a professional application. Okay, now I'm gonna ask it to give me a 3D render of this floor plan. Okay, run. And just like that, you get a stunning looking 3D view of this floor plan. Looks amazing in my opinion. And it even retains all the written text, like the family room, the kitchen, the garage, the bedrooms, etc. Looking pretty amazing. Now, if you want, you can get like a 45 degree angle view of this plan basically doing whatever fits your needs. Now, let me try one last project. I'm gonna start a new chat here and I'm gonna upload an image of a building. Now I'm gonna ask it to generate an isometric 45 degree angle top view of this building so that I can use it to generate or to create a 3D model. So generate an isometric 45 degree angle top view of this building or 3D render of this building. And let's see if it's able to identify and isolate this building and generate the 3D model. Okay, run. And here it is looking absolutely beautiful. It retained all the details in the original building. It isolated it and created this beautiful 3D render. Now I can download this image and then I'm able to use this image to generate a 3D model using sites like Meshi that can generate 3D models by AI. So I'm going to choose here image to 3D and then I'm going to upload my image. Here it is. And now I need to enter a prompt, generate a 3D model of this building. Okay, now generate. Now would you look at that? A stunningly beautiful 3D model is generated of the building that we just created. That would have taken hours and hours if you wanted to build it from scratch. And you can later download this 3D model and use it in your 3D software. Now, I just scratched the surface of the capabilities of this amazing tool, Nano Banana. Of course, the sky is the limit. You can use it to do way more than that. Hope you found this video useful. Don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos like this. See you all in the next one.